So here's how we do carbon farming in northern Wisconsin where we've got our portable electric fence <coughs> set up to mimic herd migration and predation. So these guys spend a very short time in a very small space uh, eating, pooping, peeing, trampling, and leaving. So we got some recovery. And then right behind them there, you see a 10,000 watt photovoltaic grid tie. It's been on for about four years now. And in that four year period, uh, we've been using about 40% and selling 60% back to the power company. So uh, we really are a power plant. And what? We're uh, putting carbon back in the ground and we're not putting it in the air as much as we can. So these guys don't get over here but maybe once or twice a summer because we have enough paddocks that they're all over the place. Uh, I just moved them here. Uh, here's our water and we really just move uh, all of our water around with hose. We've got a a couple of place, different places where we can hook into a uh, hydrant and uh, we got no fancy stuff. I, we just drag hose around and uh, make it all happen. So this one's, this one's short. Uh, sometimes I give a little more detail but this is just fun. <clears throat> so yeah we're using technology to uh, mimic uh, some of the oldest practices or the oldest behaviors in uh, ruminant animals of uh, herding together and uh, doing their pruning and their fertilizing and moving on. And they're usually, like I said, here just once or twice uh, over the whole summer and, and uh, the grass is not as long as it usually is this time of year because we we started out with about a six week long drought uh, then we got some rain and things kicked in uh, but they've been doing this long enough here that things recovered once the rain started and we're on our way moving them around again uh, again this is uh, northern Wisconsin where uh, we like the sun to shine <clears throat> That's it. Have a good day.